que tiene Anthony David a Charlie Manson en la nueva serie Calle 13, Aquarius, una ficción sobre un asesino en serie que marcó a toda una generación. So you play Charlie Manson and I guess that's a difficult character because <laughs> it's based on a real person and that person, so... Uh, yeah, no, it is. It, there are challenges, absolutely. Um, but part of the reason why it was an exciting role to tackle was because I knew that it was going to be a big uphill challenge. And um, and ultimately, that's what you want uh, from a creative role is that you want to challenge yourself and be challenged by others. I keep saying the word challenge, but it's because uh, it's a good word for this. Um, I think uh, the fact that he... he Charlie in Aquarius is based on Charles Manson, but there are fictional stories around uh, the, the rest of the show. It, that adds another um, sort of difficulty to, to kind of balancing your research with what you know happened in real life. But, but that, I think that's normal for, you know, anytime you're using source material to make a drama, there's going to be a, an interpretation, an editorial process. So it's kind of the same as that, really. So I could go on for ages, but I'll stop. How do you de deal with the balance? Because uh, at the beginning of the season, there has to be a bit of, it of, of light, uh, and then the, the, the character grows darker, or how, how did you manage to, to deal with that? Um, I think it was a really helpful thing to do, to establish, for me personally, to establish the, uh, the character in the show as a young man who's left prison and has been involved in some very violent crime already, absolutely but is just suddenly free, having been in prison for a long time. And that freedom that, that any person, whether they're Charles Manson or not, if they're, if they're in their early 30s and they're in California in the late 60s, that sense of freedom would have been huge. Um, the sense of liberation in California at the time, most of America as well probably, would have been very powerful and overwhelming. So that was a really good place to start because it it uh, yeah it gave a kind of a, an, an energy of, of The, a lighter energy to begin with and then we see how all of those sort of good liberating energies are kind of twisted and corrupted through the course of the show. Is there an aspect of the character that you're looking forward to incorporate or? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I know no, no, it's, no. It, it's no, no, difficult no, I don't, because no, no. of the character no, because no, it's, no, yeah. it's a it's a bad guy, no? Actually, do you know what? I, there is an element, if we get there and I Uh, it, 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 we we have six series planned, so we're on series two now. It's about to come out, uh, and so at some point in that series, six series, if we ever get to the point where we're in a courtroom, I, I having listened to some of the courtroom tapes and read the testimonies and thing, I think the circus around that um, would would be really interesting to portray, having established the character the way that we have. But that that would be a couple, of, you know, that's a few years away. So, but you already know that there's going to be six seasons. We know that that's our showrunner creatively has planned. So if you stay with us and we get to tell it, well, that's where we get to. Um, with television, you know, you, we'll... Yeah, no. <laughs> I was going to swear then, I won't swear. I won't curse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to do six seasons, yeah. Six seasons, yay. Uh, <laughs> How is working with David? Wonderful, really, yeah, really lovely. He directed an episode this year, um, so it was great to work with him both as an actor, but also him just directing an episode. He acts in it as well, but um, having him direct me rather, um, which is really, it's amazing. It's like it's like working with the 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 the, the star striker, the goalkeeper, and the coach of the football team all at once because he's so experienced in so many ways. You can like really learn from him, and it's been great. Uh, in the show, it's uh, really about your character, and uh, the character of David also has some some weight in the series. But are we gonna see more about the other characters, like the secondary ones? Oh, so you mean uh, how? Which characters do you mean? I mean, it's because you have like a lot of protagonism in the series because. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, but oh, from the other, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, actually, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you know, I understand. What you mean. Yeah, no, no, no. So, yeah, so David and I have this whole kind of, like, we like different points on like this this spectrum. And this year, a lot of the other um, parts of the spectrum, if you like, come to the fore. Yeah, absolutely, they do. Yeah, uh, it's really exciting to see what uh, Claire Holt will be doing with Charmaine Tully, that character, the young female police officer. That character has amazing storylines this year. Gray Damon's character, Brian Safe absolutely incredible kind of arc this this year that I really don't want to 
talk about or give away because it's really amazing. You were part of a show that it's crazy, that has a crazy fan base. I'm talking about Game of Thrones. <laughs> is it still like chasing you? Like the fans in the street is like, oh, really? Oh my God. And do you miss it? Do you follow the series? Um, I certainly follow the series, although I'm a few episodes behind. I'm like up to like season, season six, episode three or something. So I've got three or four to catch up on. Definitely follow the series. Uh, I love seeing my friends on screen because I made some really good friends while I was making it and they're still there and, and that's the that's the main reason of missing it is missing your friends if you like. Um, but also like I, I mean the show's so amazing of course who wouldn't who wouldn't miss being a part of it. Um, as far as people's reaction, yeah people do still talk to me about the show a lot and have a lot of fun things to say about it which is great. Um, well, it's just lovely really isn't it? It's very nice but no one chases me down the street. They've never done that. <laughs> I don't which, think they ever will. Which is your favorite character in Game of Thrones? Uh, who do you want to get the throne? Uh, Brienne. See, this is the thing, right? So when this goes out, even if it goes out right now, some people will know more about this season than I do. So if I say anything stupid, I'm sorry, I've got three episodes to catch up on. But Brienne and Bran and like Arya and I want them to bring Shireen back from the afterlife and they can have like this wonderful children driven well young and not children like they, they're getting older now like the characters are, are becoming sort of teenagers and adolescents in the show and young adults but like they, they they're the light of the show you know they're the young people in the show and and the, but, but it's protected by Brienne because she's a badass <laughs> I don't know if that's okay whichever <laughs> sorry it's unlikely, but imagine, imagine that happens in Game of Thrones now, people like come back to life. So imagine that one day they call you and they say, we want to bring back Brenly. And you go like, uh, I'm having an ice cream. Can we chill out for a sec? Um, I really like ice cream. Um, I don't know. I, that's, that's, you know, I, I, I imagine that I'd be, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, probably. I don't know. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, I, like, I, I, it, it's, it's, it's so, it's like going back to college, right? So, like, have, you know, if you go back to university or college, like, you can, it can never be quite the same. It would be a very exciting thing to do. I can't really imagine it's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen, so. Charles Manson sonríe. Amigos, amigos. América tiembla. Bienvenidos. Te quiero. Quiero que limpies el mal de tu alma. Quiero que encuentres la luz 